If you look at just the world today, remember the old mom and pop hardware stores. Remember the little drug stores. Remember the little grocery stores that used to let you charge your groceries until you got paid on Friday. They no longer exist. The big companies have dominated the marketplace and people now are looking for not just going to the big box stores or the big companies. They're looking for mom and pop businesses that they can talk to someone on the phone. They're not getting voicemails all day long. They're not just being treated as a number. That's what the Leck Company is about. I started out on a farm as a young boy. Went around cleaning out basements, attics, anything anyone needed done, I was willing to do it. I had three customers at $4 a month gross. I had no money, but I had great integrity. I've taken this company from $12 a month to what it is today. Part of innovation, I think, in, in our industry is that I think a lot of people have, have said that, well, that's the way we've always done it. We just need to continue to do it that way. And that's not the truth. I think, especially in our company, embracing technology and change is a way to, one, offer a better service, to save our customers money, and to make ourselves better at what we do. And those companies in our industry that don't embrace change and innovation uh, to be a better company are just going to be left behind. We've invested a huge portion of our budget over the last three years in emerging technologies and, and, and the ability to change as far down as uh, just how the trucks operate, how trucks are being serviced, how routes are being operated all the way down to knowing when we pick up a customer, how much the trash weighed when it went into the truck from that specific customer. Those technologies didn't even exist. The size of our company, the size of the LEC organization is key because we're small enough to, to know our customers on a first name basis, but we're large enough and have the resources to compete with the larger companies. Well, I think one of the things that sets us aside from a lot of companies is that when you call Lekway Services, you can get a live person on the phone. Even some of the customers that we have, they feel like family, we've had them so long, and they've been as loyal to us as we've been to them. You don't get a call center, you get a real voice. Um, I'm on call 24-7, Walt's on call, Jason's on call, we're always, one of us is always available to take a call, solve a problem. The LEP family is capable of doing all the high-tech things that any other corporation in the industry does, but they do it with a small family feel. You deal with some of the larger companies, you can't get a straight answer, there's issues, you can't get resolutions. When I have an issue which is rare with uh, the Lex, uh, it's taken care of, you, you talk to someone, you know their names. So I like the small company feel but they do their business in a big way. It's, it's the communication. It, at the other end, it's the service. Uh, when I know that I award them an account, I know that I don't have to worry about any type of service issues. Besides the family atmosphere, I think the best things about working at LEC are the trust. I know that when I set up an account and bring a new account into, into the LEC company, that whether it's a roofer that needs a container early in the morning or it's a large hospital, a network that needs multiple compactors up and running within a small window of time. I know the job's going to get done and it's going to get done right. I think one of our strengths as a, as a family business is that, you know, we're here every day. No matter what, there's always one of the family members here every day. So that started with my grandfather, started with my, or followed through with my father, and he's passed that through to my brother and myself and the rest of the family members. Walt carries that legacy and that old family throwback feel, which, you know, you don't see that anymore with all the corporate giants who get involved. 
My brother and I joke that, uh, you know, when I was 15 years old, I, I hated the fact that at 6 a.m. on a Saturday that my dad was knocking on the door and pulling me out of bed and making me go to work. Sitting here in my 40s, I thank him for that because it instilled a work ethic in me that nothing in life comes easy.